At some stage of our Minecraft journeys, we have all attempted a hardcore run in some form. UHC, speedrunning, or traditional solo survival hardcore runs have always been a prominent part of the Minecraft community. So, when it came time for me to get back into it, I didn't want to do it alone. Instead, I brought in a friend of mine called Tom to do a Soul Link variant on the hardcore theme. The idea behind a Soul Link run is simple. Myself and Tom are bound to each other's fates. If one of us dies, the world ceases to be. Additionally, we are forbidden to go about strip mining or gathering resources via glitches in any way, shape or form. So, our world was in safe hands, right? Say hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. What? what? <laughs> Thanks, Tom. One of the Toms, <laughs> one of the Legion. Now, for two Minecraft veterans, this would have been easy. After all, speedruns on hardcore are commonplace in the world of Minecraft. Whilst I've competed in my own UHCs and Minecraft hardcore runs before, Tom is brand new to this game and is not quite there yet. So, uh, twerk, you... Twerk, twerk, twerk. <laughs> yes, twerk for the audience. Needless to say, I had my work cut out for me. And so, our journey began, with a simple goal of surviving the first night. But we got off to a rather slow start, and we were burning daylight. So, I attempted to teach Tom the basics. Upon gloriously felling our first trees, I went about creating some basic tools before searching around for a safe place to live. In doing so, it dawned on me, I didn't know what my comrades' aspirations were for this world. I didn't have many plans myself beyond dying within the fires of the nether, so I inquired upon the wisdom of the only other sentient creature on this world. Right, so what are your goals for this series, Tom? Because I've, I asked people on the server a while ago how far do they think we'll get, and uh, I, I was confident we'll make it to like the hell dimension, like the nether dimension, and then die there, where I will end up dying saving you or something. But what, what's your goals? <laughs> I honestly do not know. <laughs> you do not know, completely blind. Right now it's right right now it right now it's build a crafting table. <laughs> Figure out how to build a crafting table, that's fair. I am gonna make myself a stone set of tools. The next thing as well, Tom, is we need to figure out where we're gonna find a house, where we're going to live. Yeah. Where would you I, like I, to I know how we can work it out. We can follow the llama of destiny. <laughs> where the llama goes, we go. With no clear aspiration in mind, and the Llama of Destiny to lead us, we began our adventure within a burgeoning new world that was laid out before us. We had hope very early on in our new run, so we began travelling the wilderness to forage for some food that we would need to survive, and that meant teaching Tom the harsh necessities of this world. Alright Tom, I'm gonna teach you how to be a murderer. <laughs> right. Wait, wait, let, let, let me, um, oh, that's my hard it. No, 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 uh, that one. I have are a you, stick, let's go. Are you going to beat it to- I was going to give you a sword, but... Dick! Okay. <laughs> yep, spam click. We're not in- we're not in the new Minecraft. Surprisingly efficient in brutally beating sheep to death with nothing but a stick, Tom already had bloodlust in his eyes and an overconfidence in his heart. How can they kill me? I have a stick. Uh, with a bow. It's like a stick, but with extra bits. <laughs> I may be dumb, Harry, but I know what a bow is. <laughs> Come here, I need to hit you with a stick. No, oh, no! <laughs> no! I will not regenerate that health at the moment, no! Get no. the llama instead, hit the sheep! We ventured into the world. Since this new world of ours was a blind seed generation, anything could have been possible. And we got incredibly lucky towards the end of our first day, with the llama of destiny leading us to more people. I oh my god, is that a village? Shit, we found a village! Wow, this was like a really good uh, day one find. It's the Llama of Destiny. It was the Llama of Destiny. It led us to pigs and cows and sheep and village. We do not kill the village though. Hashtag save the village. And we don't want to be here at night, which is fast approaching. Villages are an amazing source of many things. We have now got easy access to farming and trading that would allow us to catapult ourselves into the Diamond Age without ever risking the dangers of underground mining. This is an amazing find and a welcome sight in any hardcore Minecraft run. But as daylight fell, we risked zombies killing off all of our newfound villagers, and that would throw away our early advantage and possibly lead to the death of an inexperienced Tom. Night was fast approaching, so instead we decided to hunker down and see what the next day might bring. 
No, don't dig straight down, dear God, do not dig straight down. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> As we bunkered down, the rain began to pour, and Tom claimed ownership of his new hovel. Whilst underground, I taught Tom some more of the basics, how to use coal to create torches, and how to cook within a furnace to stave off starvation. After teaching Tom the art of making torches, I had finally realised something about his strange nature. Please go ahead and make some torches so that you might be able to see with your creepy one eye that is staring into my goddamn soul. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh I am God. Cyclops. You are a Cyclops. This is... You are by far the weirdest roommate I have ever had. <laughs> and that freaking... I don't want to look in your eye. It scares me. Right, go ahead and set down Look at me. Look into my eye. Ah. I'm going to put a torch in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe I'm not the most astute either, but that eye followed me in my waking nightmares. So I kind of feel like I was justified. Anyway, we continue to spend most of the night in the hovel digging it out for stone and occasionally poking our heads out into the rainy night sky to see if it was safe to leave. Luckily, we didn't find any monsters and sure enough, the daylight rose. Oh, oh, it's daylight. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I've survived. We have survived the first night. Okay. That was our first and simplest milestone achieved and we felt pretty good about it. It wasn't much, but the first step is always the hardest to take. Despite our newfound confidence, we had found our first hostile creature. Maybe he just wants hugs. The, the zombie's coming over, Tom. Make a sword quickly. It, it wants no. you. No, it's no, okay. It's okay. It's going uh, after me now. I, I know how to deal with this. You know how to deal with this? Yep. Hide. <laughs> Smart. All right, I'm already proud of you. I will kill the monster. <laughs> I didn't shut you out of our little hovel. <laughs> it's fine. I'm planning on abandoning the hovel now, Tom. You... No, it's the hovel. We love the hovel. We love the hovel. Are we building our house on top of the hovel? In the hovel. In the hovel. <laughs> in the hovel. Right. You build your house in the hovel. I'll build my house on top of the hovel. <laughs> I'll be the one that welcomes guests. And first and foremost, speaking of our guests, we should go pay, t uh, pay a visit to the village that's nearby. Despite my cyclopean hermit's obsession with his new hovel, I was proud of his instinct to avoid conflict where possible. It would be needed if we were ever come across an actual hostile threat that he couldn't handle with his inexperience. However, it was important to show Tom around the village and give him some proper pointers about how it could advance us into the future. So the one thing you actively don't want to do is if there is an iron golem in the village, do not kill a villager. The iron golem will fuck us up. Um... <laughs> and end our lives. There's, hello, my village people. Oh, look at his little legs again. Hello, my village people. Are you walling off our little area? Yes. You need a pickaxe to mine stone, bud. There you go. <laughs> we'll get there. We will, I promise. Uh, yeah. We'll go to the village, but I, I, I we need another torch over here because this is not symmetrical. I do not like it. Oh, he's already a Minecrafter. He's already a Minecraft man. Alright, what's well, not symmetrical, bud? How can I help? You want another torch? We need torch? a torch here. We need a torch here, thank you. This is the entrance <laughs> to your first home. The promise that we would get there was one I fully intended to keep, and it was clear that the hovel had become quite important to Tom. He didn't want to leave it, even to visit the village. But sure enough, I managed to convince him to leave and speak with the locals. This is a village. It's a natural construction of Minecraft, and inside these houses... Thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> inside these houses, you're going to find the villagers. Now, villagers will usually not come out during, like, rain and stuff like that, because zombies can spawn. But if you talk to them, you can see that they have trades. Um, you can eventually basically trade up for, for, like, full diamond gear and just play an economy simulator if you really wanted to. And a lot of people do play that. And it is a big enough... Oh. It is a big enough oh. village to have iron golems, but uh, there's also a portal to hell nearby. And there you go. Here is your hint on how we're going to get to hell. Be careful. There can be lava under these. Do be careful. An incomplete never portal. I understood the dangers of lava, and had some caution about it, but an incomplete nether portal would have been a major boon for us. 
If we managed to find up the village and get diamond tools, we would have had a method of reaching our goal on the very first Soul Link series. We could enter the nether and make a legitimate threat on the Ender Dragon for our very first try. Unfortunately, like many stories, this ambition came at a cost. You see, the entire series so far, Tom has been playing on Xbox, while I've been playing on PC. I have had a lot of experience on Minecraft and Xbox 360, but it had been a long time since I knew how to do proper inventory management on console. The left stick is what controls player movement, and the cursor in the inventories. I forgot how hard it could be, and knowing that, this is the mistake that cost us the run. And there's a chest here, I still haven't opened it, I'm waiting for you. Just be really careful with the lava, okay. There is golden pickaxes. Golden pickaxes are actually the, gold, the fastest pickaxes in the game. There's and a gold, a gold home. Well, gold that will home. teach us how to farm, so if you want to go ahead and grab as much of that as possible, uh, and then we can go ahead and head back. No, thank you. This is mine now. Yes, My it obsidian. It is indeed. We do have a cave nearby, like a little ravine that goes quite deep down as well, for when we do go caving. Look, this is really awkward. Are you <laughs> sorting out inventory? It, it's awkward because it kind of... Oh, no! No! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Go. <laughs> well, I see how it is, Harry. You want to do all the for yourself. We had such a good start. There's a village. I was going to teach you how to farm. <laughs> oh. Then you bumped me into the lava. And that was the sad ending to a very promising first run. But where there are some sad endings, there is also quite a lot of hope on the next one. Hello, everybody, for real this time. Once again, I am joined by Tom. Say hello, Tom. Bonjour. One of the Legion, and we are back for the second attempt of Minecraft Soul Link under, uh, after I ungraciously ended up murdering Tom by accident. So, if you've made it this far, I hope to see you there.